is Patty. No longer on the Crab Coast. She sailed to Takarigua. From what I gather, she's hunting the one who sold her the treasure map. I guess it won't be an amicable encounter. Do you know anyone on Takarigua? Just the old lighthouse keeper, Jack. But I've no idea if he's still alive. Who are you, exactly? I'm... Bones. We met before. Several years ago. But in the state you're in, I don't think you'll be able to remember that. I used my paltry voodoo skills to awaken your physical remains from the sleep of death. The last person I tried it on wasn't so lucky. But that's another story. I'm impressed they worked at all. And that you're now more or less alive. I am the only friend you have left in this desolate place. Come on, let's go. Of course. And where to now? Maybe I should ask Bones first. Where can I find them? There are powerful sorcerers on the Southern Seas. Some of them are spiritual leaders of communities. But make sure you find yourself a strong one. They will help you regain your spirit. Where are the exiled mages? As far as I know, they've settled on the Thunder Isle of Tyrannis. They're digging up the island of gnomes, searching for small magic crystals. And only the mages know what they'll be used for. The natives are powerful voodoo sorcerers. That's true. The tribe that you should find most interesting lives on the island of Kila. Strong warriors, mighty shaman, pretty powerful voodoo. I should think you'll find what you're looking for there. I need a druid now. I heard of one on Kalador. I think the druid is called Eldrick. He's supposed to be the spiritual leader of the demon hunters. They are extremely powerful dark warriors with their own kind of black magic. I'm sure they'd help you. What about the Inquisition? They lost their supremacy on the Southern Seas long ago, but the sugarcane plantation on Takarigua may still be there. I'm not sure the blue coats can help you, but who knows? I think you have enough information to find a powerful sorcerer now. You must decide where you want to go for help. Who sent you to find me? I am a pirate like you. Well, at least you used to be one. You were a member of a pirate association that was once very powerful. The Council of Captains on Antigua. Admiral Alvarez has been leading the council for many years. He sent me to look for you. He was concerned about his protege. I have more important things to do than report to the Admiral. Oh, you had better give the old sea dog a hand. Admiral Alvarez has a few problems on Antigua. The existence of the Council is at stake.
they? The reason Alvarez wants to see you. Ghost ships. I've seen something like them before, but that was a dream. No, 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 this is no dream. It's Crow. Pirate Captain Crow. That cutthroat. But he's fucking dead. He's returned from the underworld, and he's boarding every ship he comes across with his cursed fleet and minions. Underworld? We've got to get away. If they find us, we're done for. I'm starting to get worried about you. You look terrible. How about you lie down for a few hours? Next time I see a bed, I'll use it. I hope so. What do we do about that crystal portal back on the Crab Coast? Crystal portals form some sort of bridge between our world and the underworld. The Underworld's where our spirits go when we die. It's a different plane of existence. Those who go there rarely return. We have to destroy them. Absolutely! We could try a cannon. Go on. But it's a bad idea. Those portals are unpredictable. They'd probably just spit the cannonball right back at us. I'm not an expert. Ask a sorcerer. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Finally, somebody called for me. I thought I'd been forgotten. Nobody sent me. Damn. I was hoping somebody would take care of the two soldiers up there. The vermin from the Inquisition just took my lighthouse. Even the pirates had more honor in their bones. I'm looking for a pirate called Patty. Patty? Ah, oh, you're not talking about Steelbeard's daughter, are you? Exactly. You know her then? She was here a while ago, but didn't stay long. As far as I know, she sailed to Kila with a gang of pirates. I hope this will help you in your search. What can you tell me about Takarigua? Trade was flourishing when Governor Di Fuego still ruled Puerto Sacarico. Now it's occupied by that damned Inquisition. I'd love to know what's going on in Puerto Sacarico. The last news I heard was none too happy. Sounds like they'll lynch any stranger. A stranger the Inquisition want to string up? Well, I don't know much about him. He's supposed to be in league with the mages. The soldiers won't be pleased to see that. You should hurry if you want to save his backside. This tower isn't... Hey, civilian, are you lost? I'm just having a look around. You can't just look around here. This is a war zone. War zone? 
They seem so quiet and peaceful. Really? And look further to the east. I'm telling you, there's all hell loose over there. So what are you doing here? Why aren't you in the east? Because Tanner gave Jack the Lighthouse Keeper a good ass kicking Let him deal with it. <laughs> you seem to take your orders seriously. Don't do a job that others could do better for you. How many of you soldiers are there on Takarigua? Most of the unit is in Puerto Sacarico. Some fresh meat and Commandant Sebastiano, but not many are left. But we're well rid of them. Raw recruits just don't have what it takes. What are you doing up here, other than guard duty? Seeing to my retirement. What? That really gets you thinking, doesn't it? Think about it. I'll figure you out eventually. Enjoy that. But just so you know, you have no business loitering about below the lighthouse. Hey you, report here, on the double. Do you really think you can cheat your way through here like that? Wanna try being a bit more polite? Don't you get smart with me, shitbird. Or you'll end up like Jack, the lighthouse keeper. What do you want from me? That's better. Grab a broom. I want you to clean this pigsty of a tower till it shines like a new pin. So happy to oblige. It's yes, sir. There's no better work for day labourers like you, anyway. Now, will you kindly get down to work? Maybe your father didn't thrash you soundly enough. Is that it? Watch your tongue, or you'll be in trouble. I'm really not that good. Can you teach me something? For the right price? Teach me how to inflict more damage on us. Of course, no. I'm not good enough yet. I need a lock pick.
I'm going to make a What a waste of prime sacrificial meat! Shit is going on here. Oh, I knew it. Now he's going to talk my ears off. What the fuck is going on here? Now don't tell me. You're surprised. Wait a moment. It's always the same with Greenhorns. First total disorientation followed by utter denial. Finally they reach desperation and madness. But rest assured, 
Once total indifference settles in for all eternity, you won't notice much anymore. Where are we? You don't really want to know that, believe me. Too many questions would only drive you further along the path to madness. Wait, I do want to know. So tell me. You wouldn't be able to bear the truth, lad. Do I need to force you to answer me? You're starting to bore me. Find someone else to bombard with your inane questions. Stop. Wait. What a nightmare. Fuck. I need help. Bones is still my doctor. Maybe he'll have something for me. I need a lock pick. I'm really not that What do you think of this part of the world? Every tree here stinks of the Inquisition. They conquered the land on some idiotic pretext of wanting to save humanity. They are ignorant and want to destroy us free men. They are narrow-minded, pompous asses. I have nightmares. Listen. I'm your doctor, not your shrink. It felt so real. I was an empty shell, walking through a bleak wilderness with no idea where to go. Ah, that's what you're talking about. It felt as if time had stood still. You no longer have a spirit, and you turn more and more into a minion of the underworld. I had a dream about a man called Mendoza. What? You don't mean Mendoza the Inquisitor? You know him. Who doesn't know him? A real Inquisition bastard, I can tell you. 
and anyone who didn't obey his orders was very quickly removed. They say he raided along with the pirates. That sounds interesting. You wouldn't want to encounter a man like that, believe me. He's supposed to have hundreds on his conscience. Maybe. But one thing still puzzles me. Why should a highly decorated Inquisitor make a pact with the pirates? No idea, but he's long dead now. It's funny that you're talking about him. I thought I saw one of Mendoza's ships recently west of Tyrannis. It's probably just a coincidence. How did you get your spirit back? That was different. Spirits found their well-deserved peace on Skull Island. But the island disappeared, as if the Earth swallowed it up. Your spirit is obviously still traveling. You'll soon be laughing on the other side of your face, my friend. Power in the underworld is reaching out with claws to the world of the living. And it's no friend of humans for sure. Has someone ever given you a proper kicking? You're just asking for it, aren't you? A wimp like you doesn't have it in him. I'm thinking, I might smash your face in. You? <laughs> this is gonna be a laugh. Get over here. Rip his head off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My head is pounding. Fuck the fuck off. Your own medicine often tastes the worse. Oh, spare me your clever talk. From now on, you will do whatever I say. All right? All right, okay. Calm down. You are now going to make the lighthouse spick and span. He who's dealing with an injury doesn't have to worry about the insults. Come on, I want to see the dust rise. I knew I should have stayed in bed. Can you take for the rock? I found your diary. What? You're not permitted to snoop around the tower. Just wait until I tell Tanner. Tanner already got what was coming to him. So you'd better hold your tongue. You think you're so clever, don't you? You stole from the lighthouse keeper. Bah. You think that's true just because you read it in my diary? Without the thing I was supposed to have stolen, you can't prove shit. Here, don't you dare. <laughs> I'm going to crush a few skulls now! 
I need a long pick. <laughs> 